Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. I'm back for more, back for more education on QuickBooks Online. And we want to bring things that you can't find answer anyplace else, because this is our daily work. This, this, these are problems you found on your everyday as you're doing your books, uh, working on your books or your client books. Um, today we're gonna talk about the profit and loss and uh, what to do when you find a negative expense on the profit and loss. What does that mean exactly? So that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. So without much further ado, we're gonna dig in into QuickBooks Online. All right, oh, here it is. Okay, we're straight on the profit and loss, by the way, to find it on the left-hand side menu, you click on reports and then select profit and, profit and loss. The profit and loss is one of, one of the most important reports we have in QuickBooks Online, if not the most important, because it tells you how you're doing, how you're doing as far as all your income and all your expense. What's your bottom line? Are you making money, losing money? That's what the profit and loss is gonna tell you. Okay, so a couple of things you want to know uh, the reporting period can be changed to whatever period you want to take a look at. Um, and also you have, you can display columns by either days, weeks, months. Uh, I love to use the months because you, you can take a look at your income, especially if you have a seasonal business. That's definitely going to be a, a very good tool for you. You can do both, right? Look at the totals and then change that here as well. So. You can compare to prior period, okay? And then you can select what you want to um, uh, take out or keep, usually keep everything. And then here, very important, accounting method. Are you cash basis or accrual? Most small companies are going to be cash basis. So we're gonna change it right here and click on run report. And what does that mean is that cash basis uh, you count the income and you count the expense when you actually deal with it with the cash so that means when you uh, when your client pays you and the money hits the account uh, or when you in, uh, when you pay a bill and you see it clearing the account so that's cash basis only when you deal with the cash now accrual on the other hand will count income and expense as you accrue them uh, so, for instance, once you uh, send your customer an invoice, that will count as income, even if it's not paid. And the moment you enter a bill into the system, it will count as an expense, even though you haven't paid for that yet. Okay. So, like I said, most small companies are cash basis, and in QuickBooks you can you can change back and forth if you want to kind of have a prediction of how much money you have coming up, just, you know, you already invoice your customers. Yeah, you can you can go back and forth. Okay, and you can customize. We have um, a video on that, how to customize that. But we are going to scroll down. Oh yeah, so income, there is a negative here because it's, it's discount. Any kind of discount uh, or refund is gonna be negative on the income because it's removing from income and that's fine. We're not gonna talk about income today, by the way, we're gonna talk about expense, okay? So the first thing you wanna uh, look at the profit and loss, you're gonna see the total income, right? Total income is right here, and your cost of goods sold and what's your gross profit. So cost of goods sold is anything that is uh, it's a direct cost for you to provide the service. If you're a retailer, it would be the product that you buy to resell. Um, if you are a restaurant, it would be you know the food, uh, the, the paper plates and things that that is directly co uh, a cost of providing that service, right? If you're a service biz business, it would be things like you know, contractors or whatever that is directly associated with providing the service. Um, all right, so see the negative under advertising here? All right, so there is something wrong here. Uh, what it means is that it was categorized incorrectly. This is an income that was categorized as an expense. Uh, it can happen in a couple of ways. One, you can categorize incorrectly from the banking or 
maybe you have a product or service, uh, product or service that is um, that is routed to the wrong account as an expense instead of an income. So uh, a couple of things that you should be aware of. So in order to see those transactions, you can actually click on the negative 125, and you can click on any number that is not uh, uh, highlighted, um, and then you're gonna see the transactions associated with that, that number. If it is a summary, then it will not let you, but any uh, other number that is not highlighted, means it's not summary, then you can click on it and it's going to open up the transaction. So the 7486 is fine, it's just an advertising expense, but look at this $200 here, it's a negative $200, and if I click on it and you see the transaction type says it's, it says it's a deposit, so it's a positive uh, amount and it should be income, it was miscategorized. So you can click on the $200 and it's going to open up that transaction. Okay, so the, the the top part is actually pending undeposited funds, so you ignore that uh, because this one was not associated with any uh, um, any deposit here. But you're gonna look at this transaction, and this is the categorization as a, a advertising, but this is supposed to be income. Now, couple of things: if you send an invoice to the customer. You want to make make sure you unmatch this, bring it back to for review, and then you match it to that payment that you receive from the client or the deposit, not the payment, the deposit. We always match it to the deposit. Remember that. <laughs> but um, if you never invoice the customer and you don't have third party and there is no, so basically you haven't recorded this income any other way. And, and there's no invoice out there outstanding, you can just change right from here and categorize correctly, this is supposed to be service. Okay, so, oh, not coming up, so this is just a simple account. Sometimes you just have to scroll up. Okay. Um, okay, I can put design income, okay. This is a um, simple account, so it doesn't have all the accounts we like to have. So design, now we categorize it, it correctly as a design income, um, and there's no sales, sales tax, and there is no, um, no deposit outstanding out there. So I can categorize and fix it right from here. And if you already reconcile, that's the advantage of doing that. You don't have to undo reconciliation because this is not going to change anything. You're just going to fix the miscategorization and you're going to save and close. And it's going to reset here. Okay, and if I click on back, now it's going to show the correct amount. So, the oh, yeah, we're happy. Yay, submit. <laughs> okay, always ask me. Okay. So here is the cost of advertising now, and we removed that income. That income is now on the right place. Um, okay, under, do, 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 do. Um, now it, it's under income like it's supposed to be, okay? So wonderful, no negative amount on the profit and loss. So you can just scroll down slowly and that's it, no negative amount, okay? The bottom line, he, for this client, unfortunately, it's a simple account, <laughs> it's showing as negative, but there's, you know, there's a lot of money sitting on the banking, still hasn't completely added all the transactions. So there's, <laughs> they, they're actually doing good. It's just a simple. <laughs> all right, so that's how you fix, that's how you fix a negative expense. If it was a product, that was miscategorized, you can actually locate it by looking at the transaction. Sometimes you can open the invoice if there is an invoice associated with the, uh, with the negative expense and then verify what is creating that amount. What is the, the product that is for that exact amount that is creating a negative amount? And then you can go to sales and products and service look for that product and click on edit 
and take a look at the, the income account. Make sure that it's an income account, not an expense account. Because I have, I had clients that had um, mi uh, misrouted their income to different accounts. Sometimes you can create products and services as an expense, such as you know processing fee and things like that. But in this case, that's not you know that's something that would be incorrect. So it's supposed to be income, but was recorded as an expense. All right, so that's how you fix a negative expense on your profit and loss. I'm going to go back to you right now. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so hopefully this was useful to you. Um, so if you ever encounter a negative amount on the profit and loss, no need to pull out your hair or think, oh, all is lost. No, actually, you can fix it. You can fix it. You can do it. So... Hopefully this was useful to you. And if you found, find this content um, educational and it's helpful, helpful to you, uh, please share with your friends, with your family, with your coworkers, with the world. And remember to subscribe to our channel so you can receive this on a weekly basis. We come up with different subjects um, pretty much every week. Uh, and, and that's that's things that have been those are things that I've been working for a long long time and I have encountered different things um, that I researched and I learned over the years many many years so I want to help you so you don't have to go through what I've been through to be able to learn it and make it easier for you so please share if you like and please subscribe to our channel um, and I really hope that this was useful now if if it gets to the point where it's too much for you and you need an extra help, I would recommend to hire, hire somebody to help you clean up. Yeah, we can help you with that um, and, and also instruct you on how to fix those little problems. All right, so hope to see you next week. And until next time, keep on smiling. <laughs>